Imam threatens DPO with knife over lockdown in Delta State. Muslims in Ekakweme community, Ugeli, South Local Government Area of Delta State, on Friday defied the state government stay at home order to worship freely in their hundreds. Daily independents gathered from reliable sources that when the information got to the DPO of O2 Jeremy Division Police, headquarters of the Muslims' worship, he hurriedly mobilized his men to the mosque at Ekakweme, where he met Muslims in their hundreds worshipping. He called on the Imam Muhammadu Young Okotie to know why he defied the lockdown order, but he threatens the DPU and his men with knife, with the assistance of some unknown military men on ground. If he dares arrest him, to avoid possible crisis with the military men, the DPU left with his men while the worship continued. In a telephone chat with the Imam of the Ekakweme Mosque, Imam Muhammadu Young Okotie, he confirmed the filing the order, saying he did it to pass a message of marginalization of Muslims in Ugeli South local government area to the world. He, however, denied allegations of threatening the O2 Jeremy DPO with a knife and military men. Those saying I threatened the DPO with a knife are haters of Islam, he said. According to him, when the government asked anybody to stay at home for 14 days, we obeyed, but at the end, when palliatives were sent to the local government area by the state government, Muslims in the local government area didn't benefit because it was only Christian clergies that were appointed to share the items. So I deliberately opened the mosque for members to worship today, Friday 24th April 2020, to draw the attentions of the world that we are hungry. And since they refused to give us food stores sent by the state government, we have no option than to cry to our God for help through the Friday worship. We are all members of the local government area, so we have rights to benefit equally. But when you constitute a committee with our only Christian clergy as heads, they will only represent the interests of their religion. I, as an imam in the council area, supposed to be part of the committee to represent interests of Muslims. If it is to make peace during Fulani headsmen attack and elections, I will be called upon by those in authority. So today, I have been able to draw the attention of the world through this worship. When contacted at the time of filling this report, the PPRO Delta State Police Command Onome Onove Boweyeya said she has not been briefed of the incident but promised to get back to our correspondence. Thank you for listening to this news. It is only in Nigeria people will act stupidly and hide under religion. You can imagine. See, Nigeria as a country has really forced people to the war and has really made people to be acting so ignorantly. Well, of the truth, the the uh, imam acts stupidly, but as it, as, as at the same time, he acted wisely because it it's it's, be, it's becoming too much of the Nigerian government. It's becoming too much of them. The extension of the of the um stay at home has really affected so many people. It's now killing a lot of them instead of the COVID-19 itself. But then I would say to the imam in Delta State that of a truth, this palliative, the way they are affected 
as Islam is the way the Christians are equally affected. The Nigerian government has only remembered themselves and their family. And the only people they remember are the people in the northern side. So it should not get it wrong. It should not get it twisted. Because even the Christians are equally lamenting and also agitating for these palliatives. They are not equally remembered. The Nigerian government is dealing with everyone. No one has ever benefited from these palliatives. They are showing extreme wickedness to the citizens and it's uncalled for. It's not proper. It's not ideal. It is time for, for, for the citizens to come out in mass, in mass protest. So I don't actually blame the imam for this, uh, for this, for this step he took. At, yes, listen to him talk. He said that because they have decided to ignore them in the share of the palliatives and they are very hungry, so they deci he decided and intentionally decided to open the mosque on that Friday so that everybody will come in and cry to, the, to God, so that God will intervene and fight for their kids. Because you see, this incident of um, lockdown, I'm telling you the truth, only God can fight for the common Nigerians. Only God, because this Nigerian government, they are doing nothing concerning this. They are doing nothing concerning this. Instead, they keep suffering the common Nigerians, the poor masses. They keep suffering them, they keep denying them, they keep starving them. Is it because they have enough in their account to take care of them and their family? Is it because they have enough food stuff in their in their packing store to that we serve them for the rest of this period? Why are they doing this to the common Nigerians? Are they not? Is it not the common Nigerians that elected them and placed them in that post? The money they have today is as a result of the 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 the, the, the common Nigerians that that voted for them. Why are they choosing to be suffering the, the poor masses with this? Okay, the donation given by other people to to release to the poor to the common Nigerians, they seized it and kept it to themselves. They that supposed to even release palliatives to the to the common Nigerians as leaders of 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 local government areas, they couldn't do that. The ones given to them to share to them, they kept it to themselves. This is shared wickedness. This is apparent wickedness. Enough is enough. We must not allow this to continue. The Nigerian government must, must, must be questioned. They must be questioned about this. We must not allow them to go with, with this. They must not be allowed to go away with this. We must challenge them for this. So I want to say that the imam has done no wrong he has actually he just demonstrated what he felt that should be demonstrated i really i really wish that what the imam has just done will be put into consideration okay look at what has just happened in ogu state see the, the the masses of people that walked that marched to the upper palace for uh, the protesters protested down to the upper palace why did they do that it is hunger it is hunger it has gotten to this level i don't know these ministers they are seeing all this they are watching it they are hearing it but yet they will pretend they never heard anything because they are comfortable because the, nothing is disturbing them they have everything in their back and corn they are still living in a free house Everything they have is being taken care of by the government. Why are they doing this? Why are they suffering the promises that has voted them in? Why? Why are they doing this? Enough is enough. Something must be done about this. Something should be done concerning this lockdown. Nigerians must be free and be allowed to go out and work since they have refused to provide for them. So, my viewers... 
So much have happened, yet we have refused to learn our lessons. Nigeria has refused to learn its lesson. Instead, they join the cabals that are punishing the poor masses. So this is my little opinion. Please, your opinion concerning this issue are of very much great importance. Don't forget to leave them behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.